Richtig. John, the hunt for answers in the wake of Indonesia's um, deadly football stadium disaster continues. And what we are learning now is this. Indonesian authorities are now saying that delays in unlocking the gates contributed to the disaster, which ultimately took the lives of at least 131 people. We also learned that two Indonesian football officials have been banned for life, including the security coordinator of the team that hosted the match over the weekend. We had this statement for you from the chairman of the Indonesian FA's disciplinary committee, Erwin Tobing says this. Then there is the security officer, the person who regulates the entry and exit of the audience, the door. He is responsible for several points that must be implemented, but are not implemented properly. He should not be active in the football environment for life, unquote. Now, the team was also fined around 16,000 U.S. dollars uh, over the weekend. All out violence and chaos erupted at this Indonesian League football match that took place in the province of East Java. The match which took place between two very fierce rivals, ended in a stampede, which became one of the world's deadliest stadium disasters. The incident has triggered an outpouring of outrage and grief across Indonesia and around the world, including this. People have to be able to go home from football. And then secondly, you know, the police's reaction to it. How can we make stadiums safer? How can the police have protocol which doesn't uh, incite the scenes that we saw the other night? Indonesian authorities have pledged to investigate the locked gates as well as the use of tear gas. Now, tear gas as a crowd control mechanism is prohibited by FIFA, the world's football governing body. And yet eyewitnesses, people who were there, were stating that it was in use and they have many questions about its use, including a spectator, a survivor and an individual who lost his wife and two daughters to the stadium disaster. We have his testimony to share for you. And this is what Andy Yorianto shared with CNN. Again, he lost his wife and two daughters to the stadium disaster. He says this, quote, I still don't understand. Why did the police shoot us in the stadium seats with tear gas? Don't they know that many children and women are watching the match in the stands? Why? What did we do in the stadium seats? Why did they shoot us? Unquote. Now, the investigation is ongoing. Indonesia, meanwhile, is suspending all football matches until each and every team prepares and submits an updated security plan all the way to the top to the president of Indonesia, Joko Widodo. Back to you, John. Christy, thank you. Christy is out there with the very latest from Hong Kong. We appreciate that.